What is up you guys? It's Gucci Mink here back with another video and I totally forgot to mention this in my last video but yes I got a new setup so I hung up this white curtain behind me so that you guys don't have to stare at that green wall anymore so that happened. I also got a new editing software so I could do this. That's right. Moving right along. I'm trying to get a new camera so you don't have to see this horrible quality anymore. But that's besides the point. If you're watching this video, welcome to my channel. Hit the subscribe button, click the like button, comment down below, and we're going to get into these foundations. So yes, that is right. These are the new Anastasia liquid foundations. They used to have foundations in a stick, but now they have a new liquid formula. So this foundation, just to get into the quick facts before we do anything else, I have it all written down because I film on my phone. So this foundation is $38. It comes in 50 different shades. There are five different categories. There's fair, there's light, there is medium, tan, and then deep. So also in the shade ranges, there is neutral, which is N, C, which is cool, and then W, which is warm. So after the shade number comes a letter, and that's how you find out your undertone for each foundation. This foundation is also water resistant. It provides a medium, and I believe you are able to build it up to a fuller coverage. It is also cruelty-free vegan, dermatology tested, ophthalmologist tested, which I believe means you can put it on your eyes and it is safe. And it's also non-comedogenic, which means it won't clog your pores. So also with the foundations, they sent me their powders. I have all five of them here. Let me try and hold them up. So all five powders. Now they come in translucent, which is good for everybody. Then they have vanilla, which is good for lighter skin tones. Then they have banana. Oh, banana. Then they have banana. And then it goes up to deep peach and then golden orange. So they basically have one shade for everybody and then four other colored shades that are good for all other skin tones. They got everyone covered. For the powders, one of these contain 25 grams and they will be retailing for $36. And then they also are promoting their foundation brush with this. I actually already have this brush. So it's a small little domed kabuki brush. I usually use this for cream contouring because it is so tiny, but today I will be using it to apply my foundation on one side of my face and then a sponge on the other just to see which one gives better coverage. And this brush will be retailing for $24. All these products mentioned are already available on AnastasiaBeverlyHills.com as well as Sephora's, Ulta's, and anywhere else you can find this foundation or the brand Anastasia Beverly Hills. Just to get it out of the way before I start this whole wear test, I'm going to be doing this wear test over a few days, maybe today, tomorrow, and possibly Tuesday, depends on if I want to wear it on Tuesday. But if not, this video will be up on Tuesday, and I also filmed a brow video, and that will be up later on this week. So moving along, for my skin type, I know that this foundation is a more luminous wear. That's actually, I think that's the name of this foundation is, oh yeah, luminous foundation. I have oily skin, but they say that this foundation is good for all skin types. So we're going to put that to the test. I am going to be using their vanilla or translucent setting powder. I am not going to do that much. I'm not going to put in concealer. I'm only going to put on bronzer and maybe some highlighting powder under my eyes just to brighten it up. But that is it because I don't want to alter the foundation to see how it wears by itself. So that is it, and we are going to move straight along and see which shade matches me best. All right, to get started, I'm going to prime my face. I'm going to be using the Becca Ever Matte Oilers Priming Perfector. This is just to help my oils stay at bay. Since this is a more luminous, natural finish foundation, it is not at all matte. So I want to give the foundation a fair try and make sure my oils will not be breaking through when they don't need to be there in the first place. 
So as I said before, I'm only going to be using uh, the foundation with a little bit of bronzer and then set it with powder because I don't want this foundation to be altered in any way. But I'm just going to go about my usual routine with my foundations. And now is a good time if you want to jot it down. I'll leave it in my description to follow me on Instagram. I'll leave that up there and then also my Twitter. But for now, I have five different shades of the foundation and I'm just going to tell you the shades that they sent to me. I did email the brand and I was, I was just making sure they were coming because it's kind of been a while. So I was like, oh my God, I don't know if I should just get them myself or not. But they responded and then they asked me what shade did I think would match me best and that was 330. So they sent me 330 which is the middle shade out of all five. Then they sent me 315 and then 320. Both of these are neutral undertones but one is more pink than the other. And then they sent me 335 and 340. So 345 on the top and then 340. So I already did try these out. I did use it in my last video. So if you didn't watch that one, go check it out. I'll link that one down below as well. I used the new Norvina Collection palette. And then these came a day after this arrived. So I'm just going to be swatching the shades down my neck. I know I already primed, so I'm going to keep it lower down here just to make sure I don't have to re-prime my face. So coming into the first shade, this is 315N. N stands for neutral. So I'm just going to swatch that down my face. So as you can tell, this foundation is a little bit light for me, but usually I do go for more neutral, warm foundations. So if I do lighten up in the winter time, I do think that this shade will be perfect for me. Now moving on to 320N, I'm going to put that right next to it. Alright, so this is the second one. This one in person looks a little bit more peachy than the first one. This one looks a little bit more true neutral. When I mean, what I mean by it looks more true neutral, it kind of looks more like a beige. And this one looks a little bit more pink. Now moving on to the shade 330W, this one is a little bit more warm. I believe it has like a yellow undertone. So the reason why I swatch it on my face down to my neck is because when you wear foundation, you want to match it more with your neck so that you're not walking around with two different skin tone colors. So that one right here is 330 W. As you can tell, it's a little bit more yellow. Now moving to this side of my face, just to show you guys a little bit better, I'm going to be using 335 and I'm going to be swatching it on this side of my face. Doing the same thing. So that is the shade 335 W. And lastly, we have the shade 340C, which is actually when I swatched it the other day, it was pretty dark compared to all the other shades. All right, so that's not the best swatch because it's pretty thin, but you can get an idea of what it looks like. It is actually a lot darker than 335. So I'm just gonna let these sit for a while and see which one looks best on my skin. So actually when I first applied this shade, it did look like it was not going to match me best. That was the shade 315N, but right now, it is the one, it is the closest to my neck color in person that I can see. But also this shade right here, 335W, is actually not that far off. It does give me a little bit more color in my skin tone, but this one does match me pretty well. So I'm going to wipe these off and then I'm going to fully apply my foundation to my face, half of my face with a brush, which is going to be my right side and then my left side will be with a sponge. All right, so I know Jackie Aina does this, so I'm going to set my face a little bit, not a lot, with a little bit of translucent powder. This is just to help create a barrier between my face oils and the foundation, just to give it a layer of coverage before going in. And if you're wondering what this is, I don't know. It's been there for a while. I thought it was a pimple, but now it's just a huge red dot. So when you see it, just pretend it's not there, okay? Because I pretend it's not there. All right, so my face is powdered. I actually have to go somewhere after this. So I'm really hoping this foundation stays up. I'm gonna go eat with my family and have such a good time. Maybe, and hopefully this foundation has a good time with me. So that is what we're going to see. So for my brush side on my face, I'm going to be using the new Kabuki, not the new Kabuki. They actually have this for a while, but they just, launched it in stores 
This is the A30 Kabuki brush, and I'm going to be using the shade 315. As you can tell, in my swatches, it matched me best. So I'm actually going to pump this foundation onto my face, and I'm going to use a whole pump and see how far that goes with coverage. So I always avoid my smile lines because they're pretty deep, and no matter what I do, they will always crease. So to give this foundation a fair chance, I'm going to avoid my smile lines with this foundation as well. If you haven't watched any of my recent videos, they basically all have been about Anastasia Beverly Hills. I recently tried out the Jackie Aina palette. I did a simple look with that. And then for the Norvina palette, I also did three looks with that one just because it is so huge. There are so many colors in that palette that I just had to do more than one look. Also, if you follow me on Instagram, I do post a lot of different looks there, a lot of creative looks. So follow me again, promoting myself, follow me there. Um, one pump of foundation actually with this small brush got me about my lower half of my face. So I'm going to use a small little pump on my forehead and see how far that goes. All right, so far my face is looking good. It is all one skin tone color. I don't put any on my eyelids, mainly because it will crease no matter what. So I avoid my eyelids and it is looking really skin-like. And it's covering a lot of redness that I didn't think it would, mainly because it is a medium coverage, but it is doing a really nice job at covering things I don't want to see. Alright, so this is one half of my face covered. It is giving a nice luminous glow. I wouldn't say it's giving too much of a glow, mainly because I did set my face with powder and used a matte primer. So it's not giving a super dewy effect, which I don't mind because it kind of just looks like skin, like healthy skin, not super glowy skin because to be honest, my face will be super glowy because I am super oily and I live in Hawaii and the climate is very humid, so no matter what, my face will turn oily in a reasonable amount of time. So coming on my, my left, I'm using a beauty sponge just to blend in this foundation. I'm also very excited because Norvina, who is the daughter of Anastasia, also mentioned that she was releasing a beauty sponge soon from their brand. And not gonna lie, I thought it was going to come out with this foundation because it would make the most sense. But nonetheless, I'm gonna be excited when it drops anyway because, come on, their products honestly have been hitting every single mark, not missing any beats, and just overall quality products. So looking at coverage-wise, I'm pretty sure you can tell on camera, this side looks a lot more fuller coverage and this one looks a little bit sheerer. So I'm just going to apply a little bit more foundation. I'm actually going to pump it on my sponge and then I'm just going to cover up a little bit more on my left side. So this is the foundation on completely. I again use the shade 315 and now I'm just going to be setting my entire face with the shade translucent. To set my entire face, I'm going to be using the Anastasia A20 brush. It is a, a little domed brush and I'm just dipping into that shade translucent and I'm just going to lightly set all over my face, focusing more on places that I tend to get really oily or where the product starts to break up really, really quickly. So those places will mainly be underneath my eyes, on my forehead, as well as the bridge of my nose. All right, so my whole face is set with their translucent powder, and I do have to say, nothing looks cakey, nothing looks really um, makeup-like. It still looks pretty good and really like skin. So I am going to bronze my skin. I'm gonna be using the Hula Bronzer. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit, you know, in the usual bronzer places, and then for my eyes, I'm going to be using the Jackie Kinda palette. I'm only going to be using the shade Ginger and I want to put that all over my lid and crease area. So I will be right back. 
Now I'm just gonna go out. I'm gonna go eat dinner. And tomorrow, which is Monday, I start my first day of college. And I'm gonna be wearing foundation there. I have three classes that day. So I'm gonna be trying it out that whole class day and hopefully maybe in the afternoon. All right, so here's my check-in for my foundation. This is after day one of wearing it. I forgot to mention also that my foundation has been on for about four and a half hours. I put it, I finally finished my whole face at four o'clock. It is now 8.30, so that is about four and a half hours. And I do have to say, the foundation is holding up very nicely. Usually I used to wear my foundations for at least eight hours when I went to school and they would hold up pretty nicely and for this to be halfway and none of it breaking up it looks really nice i do have to say that my t-zone is completely oily it started to look oily at least a um two hours in i would say but the rest of the face looks really good and for the places that usually break up at the moment they look fine they look perfect if I were to just blot this down, I think it will look good as new. So for four hours on the first day, four and a half hours for the first day, this is pretty good. So tomorrow I will be doing this test again. I will be getting ready for school and I will make sure I do check-ins tomorrow so that you can see how this foundation looks throughout my day. So this is my foundation, second day after five hours of wearing it, almost five and a half hours of wearing it. So I finished my makeup at 8 a.m. and then I went to my classes and now I'm back home. It is 1.20, so again, almost five and a half hours. So the luminosity on this foundation definitely shows through throughout the day. I did have to blot a little in my T-zone. As you can still see, it's very, it's not matte. It's still luminous, but I did blot it a little bit so that it was less shiny and looking at it um close up i see no signs of breaking up the only thing is in my um, smile lines because they are very deep nothing will hold up so that's not really the foundation's fault it's just my smile lines are super deep and i would recommend this foundation if you have oily skin and you're not afraid of wearing a luminous foundation if you're getting into luminous foundations for oily skins you can always use a matte mattifying primer and then powder but i wouldn't want to over dry your face or else it's going to have to compensate so usually if you wear a matte foundation i recommend setting your your face with a more regular to dewy baseness mainly because you don't want to over dry your skin and i do like how this foundation is luminous because it will not only let your skin be able to breathe and not dry out. But also, you can always blot it if you need to. I have not ran into a foundation where you didn't have to blot. I can blot it with matte foundations, dewy foundations, or like luminous foundations, or just natural finish foundations. And it will always become oily. So it's really just your preference at this point. I would have used this foundation again. Overall, I do like the foundation. I think this is a really good match for my skin tone. It again is 315N. I do go for more neutral undertones. I wear 260 or 280 in Fenty. I also wear 455 in the natural um, L'Oreal Natural Freshwear or L'Oreal Freshwear. And then I wear Warm Beige and Too Faced. So those are just some foundation comparisons that I use in case you want to use me as a shade reference. So that is all for my foundation review. This foundation I've been so highly anticipated and I really do love it. I'm so glad I like it because it really does give a natural skin like finish. I also cannot feel it on my face. It's super, super lightweight and non-irritating. I did not want to scratch it off at any point in the day. And I didn't feel like it was running off my face. So. With that being said, I really hope you liked this video and you enjoyed it. Comment down below if you did like this video, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, follow me on my Instagram and uh, Twitter for more posts. And with that, as always, love you the most.